Let us learn how you can find objects in the night sky. You go to this website called timeanddate.com and in this, if you go to sun and moon, go to night sky. When you are in night sky, what you can do is you can search for any city. So I can go and I can say Erod and I'll find Erod or I can go and say Tuticorin and I will find Tuticorin. So if you click Tuticorin, now it's going to show you the night sky, the planets visible in the night sky in Tuticorin. And if you come down here, it will, it shows you that on 2nd of July, that is today or tonight, you will not be able to see Mercury, extremely difficult to see. Venus, great visibility. Mars, Jupiter and Saturn, perfect visibility. And Uranus and Neptune, difficult to see. So you know that tonight, if you go out, you will be able to see Jupiter and Saturn, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn pretty well and uh, Venus to some extent. And it also shows you when these planets will rise this evening, you know, just like you've got a sunrise and a sunset, all the planets, because the earth is spinning, will appear to rise and to set. And then if you look at Venus, well, you have a little problem with Venus because Venus is going to rise only at 3.40 in the morning, which is actually on the morning of 3rd of July. However, if you come to Jupiter and Saturn, they are convenient planets to watch because they are going to rise at around 7.30 or around 8 and they are going to be up in the sky for a very long time till morning. In fact, at 7 o'clock, they will set only around 7 o'clock. But of course, at 7 o'clock, you will not be able to see them because the sun will be up by then and so nothing will be visible in the sky once the sun is up. But let's say you go at around 9 o'clock at, at night, then you should be able to see these two planets. And if you are okay to get up early in the morning, then if you go get up at around 5 o'clock in the morning, let's say, then Venus and Mars will also be up and you may be able to see them. So with this information, let's go back here. And if you come here and if I say, show me the sun, so it's showing me that right now, the time in Tamil Nadu is 2nd of July at around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, this is where the sun is relative to the horizon. And then if you come down here and you click on this red button and you drag it, then it's showing you that the time is changing. If you see here, the time is changing, right? And this green strip means that whatever object you've selected has good visibility. And red means that it doesn't have good visibility. So of course, sun is right now very clearly, clearly visible and that's why it is green. And as I am uh, moving the timeline, you will see that the sun is setting. And it's also showing you the direction. It's showing you that the sun is west, northwest, and that's how it will, uh, it will set tonight. And at around 6.30, is the time the sun will set fully below the horizon. And then once the sun has set, that's when you will see the stars. And as the night progresses, so I'm going to come to around nine o'clock because we said nine is a good time for you to uh, go and look at some planets. So let me change this. Let me say I want to look for Jupiter. So it's showing me Jupiter and it's telling me that at around Let's go back to nine o'clock. And it's telling me that Jupiter at nine o'clock is, is up in the sky and it's such a bright object that you will not miss it. If it's not cloudy, you will definitely be able to see Jupiter. And Saturn will be close to Jupiter. It will not be as bright as Jupiter. And if I zoom out a little, then you will see that vis-a-vis -vis the moon, this is where you will be able to find Jupiter and Saturn. And then if I move the timeline, so Jupiter, the green line, stays till the morning, right? It, it's telling us that it will be twilight, but 
if you get up let's say let's let's switch to something like five o'clock in the morning so here we are at five o'clock in the morning and you will still be able to see jupiter and you will be able to see saturn then if i go back because we had earlier seen here in this table we had seen that mars is also has perfect visibility it's just that mars will 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 uh, rise only at midnight and but then it will be up in the sky for a long time so let's look for mars so i come back here i say mars and it's telling me mars and at five o'clock mars will be up in the sky so it will be visible if it's not uh, cloudy and uh, there is no other light pollution so this is how you find objects and you use the star chart to locate them in the sky in the next video i will teach you how to use a app called star chart and that app is like a gps of space